Welcome everyone. Here we are again. Lovely to see everybody here. What a treat. Welcome. We're going to get started and please take your seats. Well, I think you mostly are all seated. And now, I would like to call on David to do a short land acknowledgement for us. David, take it away. We recognize that we are a party to Treaty 6, as is the Pappas Chase First Nation. As we meet today in Beaver Hills House, we recognize that Reserve 136 was originally set aside for the Pappas Chase First Nation as a part of the Treaty 6 agreement. However, this part of the agreement was never formalized. This is the very land on which we are meeting today here at Westwood. May the fact that we are, are part of this history encourage us to find ways in which we can cooperate with the Pappas Chase First Nation in addressing this miscarriage of justice. So now, Harmonia will now start our ritual. This is winter solstice, Yule. It is the time of the shortest day and the longest night. The Earth Mother sleeps, resting after the labors of the busy growing season that is now long past. She will shortly burst into life again with the return of the sun. This is a liminal space. All of nature is quiet and still. 
We wait and hope for the return of longer days and warmer weather, as people have done ever since there were people to do so. Come, join our circle, tell stories, feel the warmth, make merry, and welcome the return of the sun to our hemisphere. Take heart, the wheel of the year is turning and a new year awaits full of promise and possibility. We're going to sing a song for you. It is very easy to catch on to, so I hope you'll join us. It's, where is the light? Where is the light? Where is the light? Um, oh, the light's inside of me. And there's a surprise at the end that you will no doubt want to join in on to. When it's late December, dark and cold. Where is the light? When old man winter's feeling bold. Where is the light? When the sun runs off to bed too soon. Where is the light? And there's nothing but a skinny moon. Dark each morning when I rise. And it's dark when my eggs get frying. And it's dark when off to work I go. And it's dark again when I get home. to call the directions. Direction callers, wherever you are, please step forward now. Sta oh, do. Please stand as you're willing and able and face the east.
Spirits of the East, spirits of air, spirits of new growth, new beginnings, new inspiration, and new hope. Let your wings uplift us and carry us ever onwards. Blow through our lives with fresh new breezes and the stormy winds of needs change. Be with us now. Please turn to face the south. Spirits of the south, spirits of fire and passion, fill us with drive, ambition, and purpose. You who represent both creation and destruction, both within and outside our control, be, be with, with us, us now. now. Please turn and face the west. Spirits of the west, spirits of water and emotions, you who nourish us at every stage of life, wash through our dreams and slake our thirst, refreshing and renewing us. Be, Be with, with us, us now. now. Please turn to face the north. Spirits of the north, spirits of the earth, let us feel your reassuring solidity beneath our feet as we continue to journey your mountains and forests, deserts and jungles are our precious home. Ground us and shape us. Be with us now. Please turn and face the center again. Spirits at the center who meet and mingle all the elements for our celebrations tonight, be with us now. And now Harmonia will sing again. Ancient rites of Yule have been handed down the ages and are still with us today in this modern world. Christmas trees, wreaths, candles, gifts, and feasting all have their origins in ancient pagan times. Even the colors of the holiday season have their pagan origins. Red of the holly berries represents fertility and power of the holly king. Green of the evergreens that grow in winter represents renewal and resilience of life against the harshest of conditions. White 
of the mistletoe berries represents feminine presence and purity. Silver represents the moon and gold represents the sun. Thank you, Sarah. And now we're all going to sing Deck the Halls. So please rise as you're willing and able to sing Deck the Halls, not the choir. Otherwise, the, the words will appear on the screen. <laughs> have a community dance opportunity. Uh, yes, <laughs> moving your body in response to music has been central to human experience as long as humans have walked the earth. In societies that utilize ritual dances, music, movement and choreography acts to foster communal feelings, including interdependence and interconnectedness, and protects against loneliness and isolation. It is the same for us in present times. We are still the same humans, and we need each other. The spiral dance is designed to connect us not only to each other, but also to our spiral galaxy, the Milky Way. Moving clockwise, we will build up the energy like winding a spring. Then, as we turn around in the center, and move anti-clockwise, passing those behind us in the opposite direction, we will release the energy back to the universe and take our newfound connectedness home with us. To lessen the chance of taking newfound germs home as well, we are not holding hands this year, but putting our left hands on the right shoulder of the person in front. Now I'll ask Harmonia to sing through Chant for the Seasons, which is what we'll sing as we're doing this. We'll plan to go round about three times until we get right up against the altar, and then it will reverse and we'll go round again. When we get to the end, if you see your chair, please sit in it. If you think you've been three times to the middle and three times back, please find your chair. <laughs> okay. Um, so, Chant for the Seasons.
Now we're going to go over to Dean, who is in Zoom land. <laughs> uh, and Dean is going to tell us about origins of the solstice celebration. Welcome, Dean. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. The title of my reading is Origins of the Solstice Celebration. In times past, many cultures celebrated the turn of the year. The Romans celebrated Saturnella, for example. They would decorate their houses with evergreens, dress up in costumes, and visit with each other, feasting, sharing alcoholic refreshments, holding processions, singing and dancing, generally having a wild time during the darkest and coldest period of the year. Paleolithic tribes covered enormous distances to reach their sacred sites, like Stonehenge in England, taking their families and livestock to celebrate the return of the light. Our Yule tree has its origins in Yggdrasil, the world tree of ancient North mythology. Yggdrasil supposedly had three roots, one in the underworld, one in the land of giants, and one in Asgard, the home of the gods. We have chosen this archetype image as a Westwood local. We hope that future generations will keep the logo as a poem symbol of life, renewal, and climate mitigation. And now we have a responsive reading. Um, this will also appear miraculously on the screen. Um, and it's by it's, it's by the Lincoln School children, pupils. And um, I'll speak the first part, and then you all join in for the second part, please. Peace means the beginning of a new world. It means that nations are friends. It means joy to the world. Peace is quiet and calm. It is rest. It is silence after a storm. It is love and friendship. It is the world's dream of dreams. Peace brings comfort and happiness. It brings bread to the hungry. It brings prosperity to the nations. It means the strong respect the weak. The great respect the small, the many respect the few. It is like spring after winter. It brings sunshine into the world. It is like sweet music after harsh sounds. At this time, we would like to encourage everyone to consider a donation to our chosen charity. This year, this is Bent Arrow Traditional Healing Society, which caters to the needs of some of the more vulnerable amongst our indigenous population. Sharing our resources spreads the joy of the season outside our immediate circle of influence and helps us realize we are one human family. Please give as you're able. Greeters, we will pass the plate now. There's also a basket at the door for cash or check donations. And if you include your address on the sealed envelope, we can send you a charitable tax receipt. Alternatively, you may donate through the Westwood website or by email to info at westwoodunitarian.ca. But please, in any event, mark your offering Bentaro, or it will go to Westwood's account instead.
you very much, Paul and Terry. If you haven't done so already, this might be a good time to think about writing your wishes for the coming year on a paper leaf, which were available from the greeters or at the back there. Curl it up around your pencil if you wish it to remain private and tie it on to the Yule tree at the entrance any time during um, this, the ritual. At the end of the formal part, we're going to take those leaves off the tree, take them outside where we have a solstice fire burning out back and they will be burned in the sacred fire and all are welcome to join us outside, but it is kind of a small backyard um, where we, we will do another chant and dance around the fire pit. Your wishes for the coming season or things that you wish to release and not have back again next year? Yes. So, since I forgot that you were supposed to be doing that during the offertory, I'll give you five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Um, now we shall have our final activity for the evening, which is our passing the light ritual. When you came in, uh, besides the leaf, you were supposed to have a little flameless candle. And uh, we're, we're going to use those now. Uh, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Candles serve many functions in society. They mark special occasions, focus attention, support vigils, and represent hope. Here, we're using them to represent the return of longer days. The shortest day has come. And from now on, the sun rises earlier, sets later, and as it returns, it is seen a little higher in the sky each day. Our ritual uses flameless candles to avoid the risk of fire, but I urge you to suspend your disbelief. Join with, join with all the others. Your candle will light up the whole room. Promise. So, uh, yeah, now we have the lights dimmed. Janice is going to play the tune for the longest night. And starting with harmonia, we will touch our light to our neighbors who will then turn their tea light on and touch it to their next neighbor in the circle. You might like to use this time as a meditation, bask in the warmth of our little community, or even prepare your to-do list for tomorrow. As ever in you, you communities, the choice is yours. You follow your own path. When we were all lit up, we shall all sing darker winter together. I'll start. Oh, you will. I'm starting. <laughs> <laughs> okay.
Please raise the light. Dark of Winter. Okay. No. We're now going to sing Dark of Winter. You can all sing that if you like, because the light, the uh, the words will appear on the screen magically. As we share these tiny sparks of light, we recognize they may symbolize the return of longer days. Let them also symbolize the spirit of giving and sharing, the clarity of knowledge <coughs> over ignorance, the victory of truth over falsehood, the promise of hope over despair, and the yearning for peace in a world filled with war. We're nearing the end of our time together, and I now call on the Directions folks to come back and release the Directions. Um, and we start with me. Please stand and face towards the center. Spirits at the center that join with us to witness this ritual. Stay if you will, go if you must. Hail and farewell. Blessed be. Blessed be. Please turn and face the north. Spirits of the north that keep us grounded in our world and in our lives. Stay if you will, go if you must, hail and farewell, blessed, blessed be. be. Blessed be. Please turn and face the west. <laughs> Spirits of the west that provide water for all life in our world and beyond, stay if you will, 
go if you must. Hail and farewell. Blessed be. Blessed be. Please turn and face south. Spirits of the South that brought fiery passion to our Yuletide hearth. Stay if you will, go if you must. Hail and farewell. Blessed, Blessed, be. Be. Blessed be. Please turn and face the East. Spirits of the East that brought both refreshing breezes and inspiration. Stay if you will, go if you must. Hail and farewell. Blessed be. Blessed be. Blessed be. May the circle, may the circle be open. This concludes our solstice ritual. It just remains to thank all those tireless volunteers that made it happen this year. You know who you are. And we have a Gaelic blessing. Um, may the road rise to meet you.
I hope you all had a good time today and it just remains again to thank all the volunteers who helped put this together. You know who you are. And thank you, Cassie. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Rebecca. I'm Lauren. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Rebecca. Happy solstice, everyone. Yes.